It's Sunday morning on CBS, and here again is Jane Pauley. They called him Maestro, a conductor, composer, and music educator of national renown. The great Leonard Bernstein is the subject of a new film, starring and directed by actor Bradley Cooper. Mo Rocca on Bernstein's remarkable and complicated life. Last summer we had really good grapes. This past Thursday, Nina Bernstein Simmons, Alexander Bernstein, and Jamie Bernstein gathered at their family's Connecticut home to talk about Maestro. So how long do we have to do this for? Well, we need to build up a very strong connection. The movie that Bradley Cooper has made about their late parents. And how much time do you all spend in the house now? Or? Every chance we get, you know, weekends and lots of summertime, summertime and it's heaven here. Much of the movie was filmed in this house, where the children share cherished memories of their father, composer and conductor Leonard Bernstein, and their mother, actress Felicia Montalegre. And if you're wondering how these three feel about the movie Cooper has made... I think we have a, an intruder in this house. Oh, stop it! Bradley Cooper not only co-stars, he also co-wrote the movie and directed it. Oh. Too much. much of this movie was. We shot so much. Many things occurred right, right here. Right here. The creative person uh, sits alone in this gray studio that you see here and writes all by himself and communicates with the world in a very private way. It's Cooper's second film as a director. We're far from the shallow now. The first was the hit A Star is Born with Lady Gaga. Still, he needed the consent of the three living Bernsteins to make the movie. He met with firstborn Jamie in a New York restaurant. I eat with my hands all the time, and I'm eating the spinach with my hands, and I recognize it, and then I either apologize for it or something, and you said, that's what my dad used to do. Oh, yeah. Corn on the cob was Mostly his corn. favorite thing. And I remember in that moment I thought, oh, this might happen. The young American-born assistant conductor of the Philharmonic Symphony, Leonard Bernstein. Cooper immersed himself in the life of Leonard Bernstein, who from the age of 25 was a bold-faced name in American culture. The longtime conductor of the New York Philharmonic. Today, we're going to talk about the meat and potatoes of music, the main course. The man who made classical music approachable through his televised Young People's Concerts on CBS. And the composer of symphonies and landmark musicals, including West Side Story and Candide. So proud to make sure that you make space so that the high notes can soar. Becoming Bernstein meant looking like him at various stages, and the transformation is startling. And it took four years, four years of tests. The makeup is amazing. Oh, yeah. If summer doesn't sing in you, then nothing sings in you. You may have read that Cooper's makeup includes a prosthetic nose that the non-Jewish actor used to portray the Jewish Bernstein. The Bernsteins themselves are more than fine with that. I just want to point out that Bradley has a very substantial nose. He does. I don't think anybody noticed that before the fracas happened. It's the absolute non-issue of all time. I'm thinking of a number. <laughs> <laughs> but Maestro is not a womb-to-tomb biopic. Instead, Cooper decided to explore the relationship between Bernstein and his lesser-known wife, portrayed by Carrie Mulligan. Oh, well, I was listening. You were wonderful. Our mom was the most elegant, delicious person. Theirs was a love story, yes, but complicated by the fact that Bernstein also had affairs with men. She didn't go into the marriage blindly. Not at all. She knew exactly what the deal was. They obviously loved each other to death. They never fought in front of us. We never saw any, any dar darkness. We felt a lot. They kept everything very well uh, tidied. 
uh, and pretty well hidden. But as a young woman, Jamie had questions, as depicted in the film. So the rumors aren't true. Her father didn't tell her the truth. No, darling. I know exactly who you are. Let's give it a whirl. In her 2018 memoir, Jamie reported that shortly after their wedding, her mother wrote to her father, quote, I'm willing to accept you as you are without being a martyr and sacrificing myself on the LB altar. And you wrote in your book, but the truth was she had done exactly that. Yeah, I, that's how I feel. I don't, yeah. Maybe you don't feel that way, but I feel like it, it cost her everything to, to stick with it. It yeah. was really tough for her, and I think it contributed to her early death, in a way. I wouldn't go that far. Um, I think, you know, probably uh, she regretted a lot of things looking back. Felicia Montealegre died of lung cancer in 1978 at the age of 56. She I just... had a wonderful, rich life and, uh, and mostly wonderful marriage and a lot of love. <laughs> There's a price for being in my brother's orbit, you know that. As much as Maestro is a love story about a marriage, it's also a story about Leonard Bernstein's love of music, including Mahler's Second Symphony. I've never experienced anything like it in my life, and I may never again. Were you actually conducting the musicians yes. there? I wor it took me six and a half years of working on it for six minutes and 25 seconds of music. Leonard Bernstein died from a heart attack in 1990 at the age of 72. He and Bradley Cooper never met. But do you miss him? Me. Oh, yeah, man. What do you miss about him? It's hard to talk about. I don't know, we shared something very special. The four of us. It's hard to even articulate. Yeah. But he was with us, he was with me certainly throughout the entire time. His energy has somehow found its way to me that I really do feel like I know him. 